Tom Petty that's saying it, but I love the Johnny uh, Cash version of, of it. No, I won't back down. It's time for us as Catholics, step into the breach, stand our ground. It's time for us to stand for moral justice and for virtue, for the official teaching of the Catholic Church, uh, to be true to our church. Welcome to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. Kickstart that engine and roll thunder with the pack. Explore the grittiness of manly spirituality. Gain traction in the virtues. Zoop up your spiritual engine by turning adversity into adventure. Now here's Bear Wozniak. Let's ride. Well, no, but I remember saying. my. I, I remember when my daughter was born. I was working for Deloitte at the time. In I was living in Las Cruces, New Mexico, but worked in El Paso, and we were auditing a bank. And you know, one of the things you do when you go, you you will go to one of the branches and kind of check things out, like on a sample basis. And I, I was the rookie guy, and it was my job to to uh, to count just to count cash in the teller's window. You know, it was just, it's not a big deal part of the audit at all. And I pulled the bait money. Oh and, boy! Uh, you know, which sets off all kinds of alarms. And for this poor bank, the same day we showed up on our surprise audit, the feds did too. And now I pulled <laughs> the bait money, and all the cops and the FBI are there. So my oh. my boss said, "You know, why don't you know? You just had a baby last night at four in the morning. Why don't you head go ahead and go home?" So I did. <laughs> that was my daughter, Fawn. But we're talking with Tom Gripe. He's the president and CEO of of Notre Dame Federal Credit Union. But what part of your sordid history is that you became a professor? Uh, of, uh, at Notre Dame. And what I keep telling them is that the biggest enemy you have is the devil on your shoulder, okay? Your problems are in your own mind in terms of creating um, expectations for yourself that are hard to live up to. So when you talk about a car, I tell them, remember, car is transportation. It is not a lifestyle. Really think about that. A car is not a lifestyle. It's something that you need to safely get from point A to point B, and that's it because it's a depreciating asset. So what I usually tell people to do is fight the urge to get a brand new shiny car. Instead, look for something that's two or three years old because we all know that's when uh, the depreciation kind of flattens well, let me ask out. You a question: If you if a car a new a new version of that car is thirty thousand dollars, two or three years, what can you pick it up for? Oh, it all depends on the model, right. but I would say two to three years, a $30,000 car is probably in the 20s, low 20s. A good financial advisor should have a lot of different solutions. And we have tons of solutions that are geared to the traditional secular world. But where we differ is we also offer investments that are um, socially responsible funds, things that we say we run through the Catholic filter, if you will, where people can invest in things that, um, in, or in companies that have philosophies and, and actions that are more in line with Catholic social teaching and Catholic thought. So we offer all those things to people, and they can pick and choose as they please. Now, do you have a, a resource for people who, you know, here's the thing. Twice a year, I have a, a guest on my show, at least twice a year, to talk about physical fitness. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm a CPA, and I've, I've learned so much from my own mistakes, but I've learned a lot by my clients' mistakes. I get to see it all. It's kind of like they come to confession when they come to me, right? Mm -hmm. and, uh, and so I really value what you're saying because you can— guide you can help people avoid making mistakes or if they're in a situation where they got themselves in a, a bind you could kind of give them guidance on the way out isn't there something that you offer to a kind of a isn't there some sort of course or something that that is available oh, yeah. through notre dame fcu absolutely several years ago uh we aligned with dave ramsey i think many of your listeners probably know dave mm -hmm. ramsey he's a very uh christian based um he's financial the guy he's the go-to guy for this this area Absolutely. So we've had trainers that have been certified. They've gone down to training in Tennessee and we offer uh, financial peace university is what it's called. We offer those classes for free in both English and Spanish. Yeah, but, if, but what if I live in, uh, I mean, can I take it online or how does that? Sure. We have the ability to uh, teach online as well. I do every single do young person here. You know, that person that's about to get married or is about to have their first child, that's the person. If they were to attend that now, the radical change it would have oh. over the next 20, 30, 40 years of their life. Everyone needs, the, you know, when you go to high school, they don't, they don't teach you even how to balance a checkbook. No. You know, you go to college. I mean, I've actually had, I hate to say that. Hey, man. 
I don't want you to miss out on your free stuff at deepadventure.com. Go there and subscribe to our weekly email newsletter. You get free video content, including the Bear Wozniak radio show, video version on YouTube before it even airs on EWTN. And you can follow us on all of our social media. Go to deepadventure.com and subscribe. Plus, good stuff happens when you support us at patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure. You get instant access to every radio show, Bear Wozniak Adventure, and our TV episodes, Long Ride Home, the instant we produce them, months before they even air. Plus, we give you all kinds of free stuff, coffee cups, t-shirts, and other things like that. Go to patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure and become our patron. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to press the subscribe button and ring that bell.